Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel of Sweet Sailor Sketches, and today I am going to be drawing your OCs. Recently I have started doing a series similar to what Michaela Mofu, one of my best friends in the world, did of just getting to know my OCs a little bit more, and I need to take a little bit of a break because those videos are extremely exhausting. Uh, because of, you know, trying my best not to spoil things, trying to make everything perfect because these sheets are not only for this video, but for future references if I want to show someone what my characters look like. I have not touched my sketchbook in a week. That's ridiculous. So I am going to just get right into this video. So yeah, let's go. It's not that I haven't been drawing, it's just that I have been using different mediums. Like, I've been doing digital for the past while, just a big chunk of it, because I have been just doing little illustrations on my own, just trying to get used to digital. Plus also trying to make a comic at the same time, which is going kind of rough. <laughs> I just haven't touched my sketchbook in a while, and I'm really, really excited to, so where is it? Found it. It was underneath like six other books. I am just going to find a new page. I love these videos. These videos are my favorite. So let's use Google to randomly select. For this video, I decided to do a little bit more less more or less. <laughs> LOL. That makes no sense. I am deciding not to do full bodies. I am only doing the pictures that have been sent to me that are half body or portrait because I just need to relax for two seconds. The first OC is sent to me by Strawberry. And their OC's name is Sienna Spark. She has the ability to create fire and can swim in lava. Her hair floats upward like fire. Wow. She is quite hot-tempered sometimes, but she is mostly calm and optimistic. She usually wears a floating scarf around her neck. She is barefoot most of the time. She loves to explore out in nature and is very curious. Sienna wears a long orange-red dress that ends up to her knees. She wears black lipstick since it matches her skin color. Her skin color is kind of a mix of orange and tan. So this is from what I can tell. Not from what I can tell. This is a more fantasy character I was talking about in my last video about how I love to do fantasy or like superpower related characters because I do not have the brain power to come up with them and make them unique. Yeah, thank you so much for sending in Sienna. If I am saying it wrong, I'm sorry. And this one I'm super excited about and like, you can see why. Look at the face tattoo. Oh my god, a face tattoo, that's so cool. She loves pizza, she works at a bar, she dropped out of college to work and support her mom. She looks intimidating, but inside she's actually a big softie. She has a birthmark on her forehead. Ooh, nice touch. She likes soap operas, <laughs> which apparently it's a secret. Shh. She doesn't have a name yet. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending in your OCs. If you want to send in your OCs, remember to send them to mangaartsmars2020 at gmail.com. That is my email. You could send OC submissions, your worst drawing submissions. Go check out some of my other videos about worst drawings. Those are super funny. You can also send in commission requests. I am open for commissions. Uh, if I am ever closed for commissions, I will mention it in a video, but typically I'm just like, eh, if you want to commission me, sure, because I have time. Let's get right on with the video. All right, I wanted to show you this tiny little pencil sharpener that I got probably when I was like 10 at a school thing that I, when I, when I still went to school, now I'm a loser and I'm homeschooled, lol but it, it's beautiful it's one of the most wonderful things i've ever had in my entire life and if i ever lose it i'm gonna cry myself to sleep rawr we are starting off with the first sketch of the girl who can, can swim in lava i almost said can control lava i don't think she can control lava this one i cannot explain how excited i was for this one i have seen this in my email a bunch like sometimes i just like look through all the ocs that you guys send me because it makes me feel good that people actually like know that i exist <laughs> and i just look through all your art and i'm like wow you guys are so amazing i have seen this one so many times like i just like, scroll and click i'm just like i want to draw this one so bad i hope i get it one day and i got it thank you guagalagale and <laughs> the the lava in the background that i decided to draw i saw this video a while ago i think it was on tiktok i can't remember about how to draw water and i was like why don't i just do the same exact thing but like with orange so it looks like lava um it, it, it doesn't look like lava <laughs> it really really doesn't and it's like mofu said i sent it to mofu i was like i don't know how to feel about this lava it looks terrifying and she's like it's giving me triphobia <laughs> 
And I'm like, oh my god, you're so right. It's so weird. But I can't change it at this point. I spent so long on it and like, it's not changing. I, I can't even put in the effort to change it. At least I tried to do a background, right? Backgrounds are super hard for me to do because I personally have been for the past three and a half years that I've been drawing have been mostly focusing on drawing people, character designs, you know, all that stuff, which I have only recently started to get better at because I have found a style that makes me really happy and really excited to finally, like, you know, do art. I just feel like a lot of times in the beginning of my art, I was just copying and which is completely 100% fine, but like it wasn't super fun. Like I didn't really feel that satisfaction of like looking at something, the result of something and just being like, wow, I made that. So like me having my own ideas for composition, for my own style and like poses and everything, it just makes me feel a lot better because it makes me feel like I know things, like I'm smart. I need to think that I'm smart, even though I'm probably not all that smart, but you know, we can fake it till we make it, right? I gave Sienna a weapon of some sort. Is it like a fire sword? I have no idea. I just, I felt like I, I needed to put something in her hand because not gonna lie, this background isn't too detailed. It's, like, it's just, it's not, it's not really that detailed. So I was just like, I need to add something and her arm is out. So like, why not just put something in her hand? Right, right. Am I the only one thinking this? I don't know, but I had a super fun time with Sienna. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sending me this my voice just cut out when I said C in thine OC. My favorite part of this drawing, like, 100% has to be the hair. I feel like I just don't understand. I, like, I'm so good at it. I was so good at it. I have no idea how I did it, and I kind of messed up the second one. But, like, I think I zoned out, and plus, like, the color- I used the color red for the shading, and, like, anything that I use the color red for just automatically turns out, like, a billion times better because the color red is my favorite color, and when I use my favorite color, it's like my brain tricks itself into wanting to do better because it is my favorite color. So, like, I don't know if that's, like, an actually a thing, but like, and like, I have no red in any of my OCs besides Connor. Besides, Connor just wears a lot of red because it's his favorite color. So you know what? I'm there. We go. That that's that's the red for my OCs. <laughs> to be one hundred percent honest, I have honest. I'm gonna be a little bit honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit honest with you guys. <laughs> I had a little bit of a hard time with the um, lighting in this because the lighting is coming from the lava, right? Because lava glows, right? It glows. I just didn't really know how to incorporate that in a lot of places. And lighting in general is just something that I haven't really studied a lot about. Because <laughs> I don't really think with my brain 99% of the time. I think I did a little bit of a good job on like the ponytail, but I kind of did a bad job on the hand, you know. It just, it varies between various places. That definitely makes sense, Slay. I feel like I really like this one because of the constant color palette. I know that there's a better word for that, but it's like where you don't use a billion colors and I feel like even for the drawing I do next, I used purple, green, orange, and brown, which is not too many colors. It's a limited color palette. It's called a limited color palette, but it was really fun to just stick to the warm tones for this and then, you know, the gray for the rocks because what other colors are rocks? Brown? Could I, I should have done brown rocks. That would have been cool. Never, oh my goodness. Not me regretting something that I literally can't even change. Slay. But I, other than that, I am absolutely in love with this piece. And it's just one of the favorites of mine right now. Like, it's literally one of my favorites. And I, just a little bit of an update, have been recently getting a little bit more into digital art. And I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with it. So maybe later I'll show you some things I've been working on. Now we are going to be moving on to the unnamed OC and I'm just gonna call this one purple hair <laughs> or something like that. I started off with just a close-up. As I said, I was just going to try and do portraits even though I ended up doing ones that both have backgrounds and this one even has a person in the background. <laughs> um, I really, really enjoy this design. The tattoo is quite badass, may I say. Looks wonderful. I have this thing against drawing purple hair. I love purple hair on people. People who can pull off purple hair literally slay. Slay balls. There was this drawing I made a while ago and I gave it to someone. I don't have it anymore, but it was this girl that had purple pigtails and it was the most revolting thing that I've ever made in my entire life and the only reason why I gave it away is because I didn't want to look at it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, whoever has that I am sorry that I haunted you and I hope you recycled it the second that, that, that I gave it to you because it was horrible. <laughs> of course, that was like, what, two years ago? Something like that. God, I, I was such a funny, I was like the weirdest kid 
like two years ago. It's so weird to think that two years ago I was such a different person, like. <laughs> but the past is the past and it's been like two days since I was recording that, so. I lost my digital pen and I am crying because I have literally stopped doing everything else besides looking for it. I have looked in every single place in my house and I cannot find it and I am just screaming and I am crying because the, the tablet came with an extra pen but the extra pen got damaged in shipping but I couldn't get a new one because I got it from eBay. So like, what am I supposed to do? Also, just as I am getting used to using Clip Studio Paint, they announced that they are going to make it a subscription plan next year. Why? Literally, why? So, yesterday I lost my pen, right? I already mentioned this. But let me just explain to you the day that I had before that moment happened and after, because that day just sucked. Okay, so I wake up and I go to brush my teeth, right? Because I decide I'm gonna be a good person and brush my teeth, right? I get to using my mouthwash and I accidentally drink it. Have you ever accidentally drank mouthwash? I almost cried. And I don't cry. I majorly tore my meniscus and tore my ACL and I didn't cry when that happened, but I almost lost my shit when I accidentally drank some mouthwash. And then my sister pops up out of nowhere and she's like, hi, I just had a dentist appointment. LOL, wanted to hang out, didn't tell me anything. And then drives me to get coffee, which is really nice, but I also didn't have any makeup on. So I kind of had a panic attack in the car. And that was also the last time I saw my pen because I was drawing right before she came over. So like, and I'm crying and I can't find it anywhere. I literally completely tore that family room apart and put it back together again because I was drawing in the family room. Why would I bring a 24 inch drawing tablet in the, in the living room? I wanted to draw. <laughs> and I didn't want to be in my room, so we slay. And that day, my mom and my brother were out to thine doctor because he had to get some stuff done, and my other family members left, so I was home alone without anything to do, and I used my mom's phone to edit, and my mom was not here, so. I just sat around in the house, walking in circles, literally listening to music, doing absolutely nothing, looking for the pen, almost having a mental breakdown, we slay. Not to mention that before my sister came over, I decided to eat a muffin in the morning because muffins are muffiny and my dog grabbed the muffin by the wrapper and was directly looking at me. He was looking at me in eyeballs and I couldn't get to him fast enough. He was staring into my soul and he grabbed the muffin by the wrapper and dragged it across the floor so it had hair all over and I couldn't eat the muffin. My brother's playing nonsense piano in the background so if you hear him just don't mind him. I would just like to make a little bit of an announcement that I will be making a little bit shorter videos with usually only one art piece for a little bit of time because number one the start of school and number two I have a medical appointment a surgery for my meniscus and my ACL uh, that is coming up soon and I don't have time to make really long videos which are my favorite thing to make so I'm sorry but just for the next few weeks I'm gonna be making shorter videos so just a little bit of an announcement and if you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment share and subscribe turn your notification bell so you'll be notified of everything that I'm making a new art video and I can never say that quickly and efficiently but <sighs> thank you guys so much for being here and like, oh my god, thank you so much for 1.4, wait, 1.46k, we slay. Alright everyone, this is how the art turned out. I, as you can see, a little bit changed on the left side, specifically with the hair. I brought it into the living room and was watching TV with my brother and just decided to go ahead with it and see what I could get. And you know what? I really enjoy it. I think that the added reddish pink to it makes it a little bit more awesome and I am really proud of these two. And just so that you are aware, this person is splooting. I will put a picture up. And it, yes, it's Gojo, shut up. That's what they're doing. 
Thank you guys so much for sending in your OCs. If you want your OCs to be drawn, remember to send them to my email. It'll be up on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all so you'll be notified every single time I make a new art video. As I said at the end of the voiceover, I'm going to be uploading shorter videos from now on just for like probably a few months because of starting school and getting a surgery soon. So I am super super sad that I can't make two pieces of art a video, that I will only be making one, but I will do my best to, whatever I can, make as much art as I can. So yeah, I'm super proud of these two. Thank you so much for sending in your OCs, the unnamed, and Sienna. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. La la la, sorry this video is a day late. I love you guys so much, bye. Let's just take a moment to acknowledge that I was supposed to calm down and rest for this video, but then decided to do a full perspective, and I'm loving it. <laughs> what? What? Me, you and me, we made it out, it seems. Night. Why do I... Why do I have an empty paper towel roll? Okay. Love that for me. Happy Halloween! This is modern feminism talking. I expect to run the world and shoes I cannot walk in. Sorry, bar. <laughs> if I'm spelling this wrong, blame my third grade teacher. Actually, no, she was nice. Blame my first grade teacher. Of course, that's when I was beginning to read. Um, blame the school sis. <laughs> la la la. That was my stomach. Did you know that if I could do voiceover properly, this whole editing thing would be a lot easier? And this is why I decided to go on the purple, purple, purple. Wow.